Hey folks, it's been a while. Now, I know I look a little different these days, but we've met before. I'm Clay Aiken. Most of you probably remember me like this, skinny. Back in those days, I was a bright-eyed kid from North Carolina on my way to becoming a special ed teacher, and then that little singing competition changed everything for me. That was almost 20 years ago. Can you believe that? <sighs> a lot can happen in 20 years. Back when we first met, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, thank God. There was no smartphone. The most popular cell phone in America actually looked like this. And I can guarantee you that unless you lived in Illinois, you didn't even know who this guy was. A lot has changed for me too. I came home, I came out, I became a father. These days, my life looks a lot more like yours than Justin Bieber's, that I can promise you. But one thing that has never changed for me is how much I love my home state. North Carolina is the place where I discovered first that I had a voice and that it was a voice that could be used for more than singing. You know, for decades, North Carolina was actually the progressive beacon in the South. We had the best roads and the best schools because back then the loudest voices in our government were progressives who actually made sure our state was always moving forward. But then things changed and the progressives lost power and we started getting backwards ass policies like the voter suppression bills and the bigoted bathroom bill. Because today, it seems like the loudest voices in North Carolina politics are white nationalists like this guy. My friends, I encourage you, continue to make your voice heard because do we love Donald Trump? And hateful homophobes like this one. What is the purpose of homosexuality? What does it create? And now we all know it's not just a North Carolina thing. For every Madison and Mark in North Carolina, there's a Marjorie in Georgia or a Lauren in Colorado. And these folks are taking up all the oxygen in the room. And I gotta tell you, I am sick of it. And I'll tell you something else, as Democrats, we have gotta get better about speaking up and using our voices. Cause those folks ain't quieting down anytime soon. That's why I'm running for Congress. Here in this community that raised me and where I first discovered my voice. We, as level-headed, open-minded, and compassionate Democrats, we have always been the party of all Americans. We have always been the big tent, and we've got to continue to be that. Because from stopping climate change and systemic racism and income inequality and gun violence, to securing voting rights and free health care and a woman's right to choose, we are the ones who are gonna solve the country's biggest problems and we are the ones who are gonna defend our most precious rights. And just think how excited these guys are gonna be when we elect the South's first gay congressman. <laughs> Make them proud. Go to clayaken.com and chip in a few bucks to add your voice to our historic campaign because if the loudest and most hateful voices think they're gonna speak for us, just tell them I'm warming up the old vocal cords.